You know what the gospel is? Are you ready? The gospel is I was dead in my sin. I was dead in my trespasses. And God delivered me. God set me free. And I repented of my sin. And now I preach the cross. I lift up Jesus Christ on the cross. That he came off the cross. Amen. So that I could have a second shot at the gospel. Amen. And guys, let me tell you, that is the gospel. Amen. Now, I'm, I'm going to tell you, it's good to have a full belly. It's good to have your mouth, uh, uh, you know, your, your uh, uh, mouth full of food and all that stuff, stomach full. It's good to clothe the naked. We don't want a bunch of naked people running around here. Amen. Especially homeless, naked people that just don't, you know, that's, you know, we want to do what we can. Amen. But they one day will die. That's what I told that little girl. I said, but what are you going to do when they die? What do you mean? They'll die in their sin. If you don't preach the gospel, I mean, if, I mean if, 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 if you just love them and love them and love them and love them, and they don't understand that there's got to come a time of repentance, that there's got to come a reckoning, then all you did was clothe the man to hell. All you did was feed a man into hell. All you did was give them a hug and a pat on the back and some sugar on their cheek to hell fire. Somebody say amen. That's not what saves. That ain't what saves. The Bible says in Romans 1 and 16, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believes. Amen. It's the power of God unto salvation. And guys, I'm going to tell you something. When we forget that, it becomes about what we are doing. It, it rests on our shoulders. So if I could just show them enough love, and, you know, and, and you know, we just love them enough. And then, y'all know what that turns into? A selective audience. You begin to, you begin to uh, uh, say, well, you know, brother, if we love them enough, if we really love them enough, then we're going to create some skits up here. Instead of being so abruptly with a message, we're going to get some skits and we're going to get some music and musicians up here that won't sing anything radical or say, you know, but just kind of act out some things that's not offensive. Amen. Get me? Amen. And then it turns into, well, you know, if we love them enough, then we'll begin to pick and choose what we say, what we preach, so as to not offend them. Because we don't want to, we don't want to hurt them. We don't want them to leave out of here wounded. We, we don't, we don't want them to leave out of here thinking that they're that they're really bad, and that they're really in sin, that they're really on the way to the devil's hell. Because only evil people are on the way to the devil's hell. So we don't want them to think that we think that they're evil. Because we want to show them love, right? Amen. Then, then, then it turns into the fact that you're getting into God's way. You're moving into God's territory, God's way. You tainting the word of God by what you think the sinners need to hear. Come on, somebody. Amen. And then you become what's called a stumbling block to that sinner ever knowing Jesus Christ. Now, I'm going to tell you something. I know I've said this before. I've said it a million more times. If the love of Jesus Christ isn't enough for them, amen, if the love that he bore on the cross is not enough for them, then my puny little love that I've got is definitely not going to touch it. It ain't. It ain't going to touch it. If the love of Jesus Christ ain't enough, I'm telling you right now, mine definitely ain't. Amen. All we need to do is preach Christ and Him crucified on the cross that a, a man can get back right with God. That's what we got to do, amen? The social gospel is a term, I believe, that's probably going to be used more and more and more with all these protests and all these riots that's going on and junk now, you know? Just like, for instance, I, I, I shouldn't say this, but maybe it's social media or whatever. Uh, there's people that like Joe Osteen, some people don't. But he's he going to get up there and grip hand in hand with Antifa. 
go walk hand in hand with Antifa and Black Lives Matter people. You know, and pe people say, well, what's wrong with what? Uh, Antifa, guys. Now, he fit right in with Antifa. I'm telling you, you know, they, they, would, uh, they, would, they would let him come in. Amen. Uh, but I'm, I'm just saying uh, that uh, where was he at when the millions of babies were being aborted? Right? He's walking hand in hand because it's the popular thing to do, right? Amen. He, he don't care about he don't care about their souls. 